The King 5 investigators have obtained emails and texts about the final hours before police pulled out. Those records detail conversations between city leaders, the governor's office, even a Seattle musician involved in the protest. Now, abandoning the precinct had a lasting impact. Protesters set up a protest zone on Capitol Hill, which captivated the national spotlight. Chris Ingalls reports on how it all went down in a King 5 News exclusive. As protests against police brutality raged on Capitol Hill in early June, rumors spread through the ranks of city employees that Seattle police might abandon their East Precinct. City officials tried to tamp those rumors down, according to emails and texts from the mayor's staff obtained by King 5. We will not evacuate or abandon the East Precinct, one mayor's office spokesperson texted to another employee. We will not abandon one of our facilities, an assistant Seattle police chief told officers. It's really unclear to me why there was any conversation about potentially abandoning the precinct beforehand. Carmen Best was Seattle's police chief at the time and now works as King 5's law enforcement analyst. Certainly my, uh, my position was that we were not going to leave the precinct uh, and it wasn't until the circumstances dictated a danger to both the facility and to the people within that we did so on a temporary basis. Seattle police moved sensitive equipment out of the precinct on June 8th, the same day the mayor's office removed a protective perimeter in the city blocks around the East Precinct. Subsequent to that, it was um, became very difficult to get back into the facility safely. That gave protesters an opening to form the Capitol Hill Organized Protest Zone, or CHOP. I watch what's happening in your city from South Florida. I'm in shock that you would say this is a peaceful protest, said one citizen, one of hundreds of emails, writing the mayor after Seattle's cop-free zone made national news. The Seattle City Council will come to order. Some Seattle City Council members had openly questioned whether police were overstating threats against the East Precinct to justify what the council saw as heavy-handed police tactics. For the first time, texts show those same concerns also came from the office of Governor Jay Inslee. Governor's office is speaking with our delegation. They don't believe the intel around the East Precinct. Is it possible to have the FBI confirm, Mayor Durkin's chief of staff said in a text. The Seattle FBI later said there were credible threats against the police precinct. Was there a threat against that precinct? Is that what your FBI office believed? There were indications back there that there were multiple threats to the East Precinct as well as to other locations um, and law enforcement entities within the Seattle area. Once Seattle police abandoned the CHOP, officers rarely came back in. East Precinct, they disabled the door lock so they can't be locked, said one text after a group broke into the police precinct. The job of securing the building fell not to police, but to the fire department and Chief Harold Scoggins. And Chief Scoggins relied on one of the self-styled armed security chiefs at the CHOP, hip-hop artist Raz Simone. Raz, I just got word that four people just broke the door at SPD and entered the building, said a Scoggins text. A way to keep SPD out of the space is secure that building during the protest. Can you guys work with us on that? There weren't the level of leaders uh, there that we could... Um you know, effectively negotiate with. Best says handing security over to Simone and others did not work. You should know leaving the precinct was not my decision. Best made this announcement days after the evacuation, shifting the spotlight for the decision making to the mayor. Emails show the mayor's office was blindsided by Best's comments and worked to contain the fallout. Emails show the mayor's staff literally crossed the chief's name out of attempts to show unity between the mayor and chief in press releases after Best's surprise announcement. How divided were you when it came to losing that precinct? I think initially things were moving very quickly, uh, but ultimately we had a conversation about the need to have the officers uh, return to the precinct. And at the end of the day, the, the mayor did agree. Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best eventually resigned her position. Three weeks at the CHOP cop free zone further divided the nation and it upended a city that's still trying to figure out how to handle public protests and police reform. Chris Ingalls, King 5 News. Now the mayor's office released a statement today reading in part, quote, the mayor and former Chief Best shared common goals with regard to the East Precinct, de-escalate the nightly tensions, protect SPD officers working out of the precinct, and ensure the surrounding communities served by the East Precinct still receive timely 911 response. Chief Scoggins, by the way, referred our questions to the mayor's office.